we get the big and bulky bang bangs up. That's the heavy metal dam horns. Uh, and we give it up to Candiria. We also give it up to the guitarist and Big Mac Miller. Uh, I can't remember the exact uh, quotes and, and comments uh, from the other Candiria videos th that we've done, uh, but it was like, bro, you've been getting fed the dregs. And, and the only way I can uh, understand that with my old brain is that, bro, there's a lot of good tunes on uh, the process of self-development that you've been doing, but it's not the ones that you've been doing. Here's one. So today we are doing, what the hell was it called? It was called... Um, Temple of Sickness. Jesus. So that's what we're doing from Candaria from the same record that we've been working on. By the end of this whole damn thing, we'll be through every song that they've ever done, probably. But that's just fine. We can do this. We're going to get into this for Guitarist and Big Mac Miller and uh, listen to the jam. We're going to learn about them. So this might be a little bit of a repeat of what you've heard if you've watched these videos before. But you got Candaria. They got 18,902 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams. Number one is Blood, 1.4 million plays. Remove Yourself, uh, 178,000 plays. You got Down, uh, 193,000 plays. Without Water, 122,000 plays. And Mireya, if I remember that right, 213,000 plays. We look into the albums that they've released. Uh, bros have been around, like we've mentioned before, ahead of their time with the style that they were doing. Beyond Reasonable Doubt, 1997, the album that we're doing here today, Process of Self-Development, 1999. You got 300% Density, What Doesn't Kill You Will, dot, 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 Kiss the Lie, Toying with the Insanities, uh, you got Toying with the Insanities, V, you got Toying with the Insanities, V, a lot of that, and While They Were Sleeping, 2016. So there are the records. Uh, we've mentioned the related artists before, but we'll do it again. We'll we'll get through them. We'll we'll see what's up here. Coalesce, yes. Burnt by the sun. Will Haven. Uh, Dead guy. A life once lost. Vision of disorder. Whom we just did a, two weeks ago or so. Blood has been shed. Uh, drowning man. Poison the well. Botch. The red cord. Nora. So that is the related artist for Candiria. Now, we're gonna, what we're going to do ever so quickly is we're going to look into that bio. We know what's happening there. It's the five dudes, and they're hanging out under that bridge. They had themselves a big thing of cotton candy. They're over there at Coney Island, you know, getting yourself a hot dog and a nice vanilla ice cream cone, or, you know, you stab a guy under the bridge. Born in Brooklyn, New York, the name Candiria is synonymous with the kind of experimental and genre-bending more often associated with freeform jazz and progressive rock than harder metalcore music. Their original fan base, predominantly rooted in the well-knit New York hardcore second wave, with bands like Marauder, Madball, Burn, etc., took to Candiria's balanced integ uh, integration of aggressive, unusual time signatures, dissonance with hip-hop, jazz, early bop, as well as a late-period fusion, dub and abstract, psychedelic, experimental, straight away. A testament to the band's skillful musician and intelligent sonic aesthetic. I would love for someone to put those up to, uh, against each other and see which one I've read better so far. I felt like that was the one. I feel like that's the one. We go to the album, Process of Self-Development. We find the song Temple of Sickness. We do it right here, right now for the fellas, for the boys. This is apparently not going to be a drag that's on this album. My boy, they've been feeding you the dregs, I believe is the way that went. Uh, let's do it now. Where are you? Temple of Sickness. This is the titty titty. I give you a taste. We take a taste. We listen together. And then you get in the comments and tell me what you think. Here we go. Love when they let the drummers do things, fun things. Love that sound. It's gonna sound weird, but I, I get a bit of this Tommy Victor vibe, you know? Early prom? None of this, but. Yeah! 
It's hard to get your ass cheeks slapping, clapping. That's great. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, did you redo? I'd never remember one of these songs. Never. Get the practice, forgot the whole damn thing. It's gotta be a great band to be in. Ideas are open, you know? First straight board forward BB's played so far. They're going ain't shit crazy. This would be great to listen to when you're like on a biking, biking on a trail or something. Wow. That's next level. They're not using backing tracks if they play that live. You'd be a little more of that saxophone. This guy stayed with the growl the whole time, huh? He can do the hip hop, he can do the sing, he can do the... They go for a fade? Mind if I jump in on the bongos? They can just do whatever they want. When you're that open with your ideas, you can do whatever the hell you want. You don't say, no, we gotta do this. Remember guys, everyone knows us for this thing. These guys are an open book. Love that drummer. This son of a bitch is gonna kick right off into something else here. I know it. Or they're gonna bust our meat and potatoes one more time with a heavy thing. Got 50 seconds left on this sucker. Snoop Doggy Dogs, I let me take a sample of this shit, man. Here it comes.
because they're going to rip it into another song here. Here it comes. Hello, Martha, is that you? See? That faded right off into um, a song called Mathematics there. Those guys can do whatever they want, right? They're like Peter Pan. They just say, you know, the singer comes into the band room and goes, guys, whatever's in your heart, whatever's in your mind, just play it and we'll put it together and mash it all up like a good big meatball and that'll be the tune. And it sounds good when they do that. I mean, everything that they said in that bio is true, isn't it? Everything, uh, like uh, the jazz, the freeform jazz and the, and the metal and everything. It's just, it's, it's all, really all there, isn't it? What say you? Most important part of my videos is where you get in the comments below and tell me exactly what you think of Candiria. Is this the dregs or is this the Scooby Doobies? Is this the one? Tell me about it. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, huge fan of Candiria. All time favorite album, all time favorite songs. Is this a sweet potato on the album? Um, videos to check out. We've been checking out videos and, and first listens. We've really been getting into Candiria the last month on this channel. So, uh, all time favorite album, all time favorite songs. And have you ever seen them live? And have they ever done this song live? And have they ever done it with the free form jazzy bit and the sax breakdown and the sweet bass lining? Um, what was it like when you got in that mosh pit? Because you got to get in the pit and you got to, you know, be smacking someone in the face. And then in the next minute, you're going, you do them a spin and then you high kick them right in the eyeballs or something, you know. Uh, but get down there and tell me that. Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, it was all over the place. It was wacky. It was weird. And the guy was screaming and yelling at me again. I like some smooth Arnold Pineda vocals, Journey fame. I think that's the good stuff and not this stuff. So don't want it, don't need it, never going to listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below. If you want to see your request on this channel, very simple and easy. Just hit the links, put it in the comments. That's it. That's it. Okay. Swinging out. Guitar East. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how to say that. G Guitarist. Guitarist and Big Mac Miller. There you go. Thumbs and thumbs. Candiria.